What's up YouTube? We're back with another awesome moto vlog. So I'm going to continue the theme of LEDs like I've been on for the past few videos. And I'm going to go ahead and replace some bulbs in the back of the GX. Two of the bulbs I've been meaning to replace in the GX are the backup lights and also the turn signals. Those are two sets of bulbs that I know haven't been done since I've owned the vehicle. And I just want to go ahead and upgrade those to some LED bulbs. The awesome people over at LastFit were able to provide me with some bulbs for that. And I'm really excited to test these out. In particular, uh, these backup bulbs are pretty awesome. You can see they have a nice copper color to them. And that is actually aluminum alloy. And their reasoning for using aluminum alloy for these bulbs is actually to conduct the heat away from the LEDs. I want to unbox these and just get a better look at them and see kind of what this material is like. So what's nice about these is they have this nice copper colored aluminum alloy, which will be great for conducting that heat away. So if you check out this center section here, you can see that there are five LEDs and kind of a cross configuration. So that gives you a total of 10 LEDs in this backup bulb. So that's gonna be super bright for the reverse lights. So for these turn signal bulbs, these are pretty awesome too. They have a really cool design and there's some nice branding on them that I'm a big fan of. Take a look at these. Hopefully this focuses, but if you see on the top here, it's got like a nice crown kind of shape to it. And that is also some sort of an aluminum alloy on the top. So all the way around the perimeter here, there are four different faces with six LEDs per face. So that's a total of 24 LEDs just in this small package for your turn signal bulb. So these things are gonna be really bright as well. And next, another cool thing that LostFit was kind enough to send over was these are the little chip style LEDs that go into many of the different places on the GX. Not only do these bulbs work in the side running board lights, but these bulbs also work in some of the interior bulb places and also in the rear license plate area as well to illuminate the license plate. Not sure how good this is picking up on camera, but these have three LEDs per bulb. And so the three LEDs per bulb is also going to provide a really nice bright lighting. I'm pretty sure the LED bulbs that I do have in the rear license plate area are actually just some cheap knockoff ones off of Amazon. And so it'll be cool to kind of do a comparison of both of them and see which one's better. So you're going to run into two different problems when you deal with the cheaper brand turn signal bulbs. One of them is that they may not have a resistor built into the bulb itself. There's a CAN bus code that gets generated from a low power reading from one of the bulbs. And so an LED bulb is going to draw a lot less power than an incandescent bulb. And so it's going to think that one of the bulbs is out. And that is when you get the hyper flash. And what you'll see with hyper flash is you'll get a really high rate turn signal indicator. And it flashes really fast, way more than it normally would stock. And the great thing about the LostFit bulb is it has support so that that doesn't happen. So then the second scenario that you could run into is they do provide a resistor in some of the cheaper bulbs. But the problem is they scale the resistor improperly or that resistor just gets hot and wears over time and that's one of the first things to go. So great thing about these bulbs is you will not get CAN bus errors and you won't have that hyper flash issue. So to test out these bulbs and see how much better they are, I think the best thing to do is do one half of the vehicle with the old bulbs and the other half with the new bulbs and we'll just do a side by side comparison. All right, so the turn signal bulbs are super easy to get to. You just have two 10 millimeter bolts and you can pull the whole taillight assembly off, change the bulb and put those bolts back in. Just overall a really cool bulb design really impressed with the design quality. It looks like there's a lot of actually effort into making it look aesthetically pleasing. Most of these light bulbs just kind of look like a standard bulb. There's nothing fancy about them, but I'd say that these are definitely a fancier looking bulb. All right, so from here to get to the rear backup light bulbs, we just have to take off this door panel. As you remember in past videos, how to remove this, we just took the tools kit out, and then behind this strap here, there's a little plastic cover. Just pry these out and you got a Phillips head screw right there and then the whole thing just kind of pulls out easily. And just a quick side by side comparison, just like the other bulbs, uh, got the old school incandescent and these LEDs so should see a massive difference here, so I'm excited to see that. 
And then lastly, these license plate bulbs are actually really easy to access. You can use a screwdriver or a plastic pry tool and you can just get up in here and you can actually pull this cover off. Alright, so once you have this cover off, you can go ahead and take off this bulb just by twisting. When you pull that out. So at first glance, this red one, this is the cheap one that I bought off of Amazon. And I can definitely see that there's less metal used in this cheap one. And another thing to note is that this cheaper one has 15 LEDs on it. They're a little bit smaller, whereas the Lost Fit one has only three. They are a larger size LED chip. The red one here has a little logo on here that says CAN bus. So it looks like this has the CAN bus support as well. Same as the Lost Fit. So these are about $12 for a whole pack. And I think there's maybe 10 of these. And this is $14 for four of these. So, you know, the Lost Fit one's a little bit more expensive. Let's see if the light output's a little bit better from the Lost Fit one. We'll, we'll compare these side by side. I only replaced one of these so that we can kind of see which one's brighter. I will say that the build quality on the Lost Fit one is much better. The solder joints up here on the top look much better than the blobs of solder that are here. Uh, just overall, a little bit better design. I feel like this one is already starting to show signs of wearing. It's yellowing at the top, and it almost looks like this is starting to separate uh, this top circuit card from the bottom one. So we'll see uh, how the other one holds up. I've got some of these in the sideboard lights, so I'll leave those in the sideboard lights, and we'll leave these in the rear plate lights, and we'll see how these do over time versus these. All right, so this just clicks down in like so and we'll see just how bright these three bulbs really are. So this is really interesting. This is the Lost Fit LED over here and this is the cheap one that I bought for a good deal on Amazon. I can already see and I think the camera is able to pick it up because on the screen that I can see right now this one here is much brighter than this one over here. I'll be honest I did not expect to see a difference at all and I thought I would be sitting here recommending to maybe go with the cheaper brand ones the price is a little bit more, but the build quality is better, the light output's higher, and I think that they're going to last a lot longer than the cheap ones that I bought off of Amazon are. That is insane. Hopefully it is very obvious uh, how bright the Lost Fit LED bulb is compared to the incandescent bulb over here. I don't think it's a major surprise that the incandescent bulb just can't keep up with the light output of the LED, but this is just awesome. Like That is so bright. It's blasting the side of my face. You can just see that it's illuminating the whole side of my face, whereas this one over here is much dimmer. I'm a big fan of that. Let's check out these backup lights and see how much better those bulbs are. All right, so here it is, the reverse light bulbs. Obviously, LED is gonna be much brighter. This is a super bright, looking at it is hurting my eyes, compared to over here. Not only is the Lost Fit LED bulb much brighter, it also gives it a more modern look with that white LED versus the yellow and the incandescent. Alright, so I'm going to end things here. I'm going to go ahead and finish up installing the rest of these Lost Fit bulbs. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate the feedback. If you're new to the channel and you like automotive and GX470 content, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I'll put the links for all the bulbs that I use in this video in the description down below. So go down there and check out those links if you're interested in picking up any of these bulbs. So far, I've been extremely impressed with the build quality of Lost Fit products, not only with the LEDs used in today's video, but also the light bar that was two videos ago. That thing is amazing. If you haven't checked out that light bar video, go check that out. I'll put it at the end of this video. It's a really great price for quality on the light bar. So if you have any questions about the install process or any of the products used in the video, comment down below and let me know your questions. I reach out and answer all of those within about a week or so. 
I get to everybody's comments and I provide an answer for everybody. So reach out to me if you have any specific questions and I can help you answer them. Add me on Instagram if you're interested in asking more specific questions about detailed installs or problems that you may have. Alright, that does it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.